Welcome back to the show. We are with Labour's Leanne Dalzell and Nationals' Aaron Gilmore. Does North East Christchurch need a new local high school? This is not a new issue. It has raged on for years and I think there is meant to be some response from the government around September 2 to the process to date. Where are we at? Aaron? Yeah, good question. Um, there's been a lot of media coverage recently about this issue. Christchurch secondary schools are about 99% capacity. Uh, when you look at the next sort of 20 years, we need to provide for about two to 3,000 more secondary school places across our city as it grows. The issue is how do you, where those kids are going to be and how do you provide for that growth. Uh, a process has been, look, there's been an issue that's been floating around for many years. As the city, particularly in the northeast, has grown quite rapidly in the last 10 or 15 years, it's become much more of an issue for parents. I'm personally affected. I've got two little kids myself, so one of the issues is grappling in your head. I mean, what, what, what actually happens? Kids in the area currently go to 25 secondary schools across the city. And there's not an area in New Zealand like that up and down the country. We've, there's going to be a bit massive upgrade of Aranui High School. That's a good thing. Uh, in terms of demolishing all its two-storey buildings, replacing them with single-level buildings, it's got a capacity of about 750 kids. Um, it's about 600 now, um, 650 now. Murray has got the same issue. Um, one of the issues is how do you grapple with that and go through a process where you can, how do you provide for those extra 3,000 kids across the city over the next 20 years? Yep. And there are lots of options. OK. Where do you come from on this, Leanne? Well, I first got involved in this issue when I became the MP for Christchurch East, um, which was at, at the, well, I, I became the MP in 1999. Um, and uh, pretty soon after that, I started to engage with that community about what would happen um, if uh, Maidaho High School, which was going to its rebuild stage, um, what would happen uh, if we were to maybe use that as an opportunity to rethink what we, what we could do. Um, and so what, what we ended up doing was, was putting some, floating some ideas about what could be done. And we met with the local Ministry of Education. They came to a public meeting in uh, Parklands. Uh, we um, tossed around some ideas. One of the ideas that I floated at the time was that rather than rebuild Maidaho High School, perhaps we could... Um, Relocate. Well, relocate, that was one option. Another option, and that was, that was probably the really serious option. The one that I floated was to close Maidaho and Aranui and build a brand new Christchurch East College for, to service the whole of the, that, wow. that part of the East. Which I thought, you know, um, and it could have had independent colleges within it, um, because I think that what Aranui has is this focus on performance and trades, and, and Maidaho had a very special reputation for special education. So mm. um, I, I sort of felt that it, it could have almost been three schools in one, and there would have been the numbers to sustain that. Um, unfortunately, uh, the, <laughs> the principal of Aranui High School described me as a traitor and, um, and almost banned me from their site for a number of um, weeks, actually, because that, that one wasn't a goer, it wasn't a runner. So the question was, could we move Maidaho High School? And um, we got quite close to that, um, but it didn't, uh, it didn't proceed, largely because in order to make any decision around a single school, mm. you actually have to engage with the network of schools around because the, it impacts on what happens to their school roles yeah. as well. OK. Um, a a absolutely. But the, I'll take an example. Shirley Boys High, where I went, gone from 1,000 kids to 1,500 boys yeah. over that period of time. Yeah. Leanne, despite being the local MP at the time, is on public record at the time of not wanting a new school. There's been many people who, who turned around and said to me, what? the meetings what? that were held in 2003, what? What? you me? were dead against a new school being built. Dead against a new school being built. No, which a, is why 25... School. Yeah, well, the issue is there's enough kids to justify a new school over the next 20 years. No, the issue is when well, and how I, you build I it. I don't really want my position misrepresented. I have always argued, and I have all the correspondence here, I have always argued that there should be a proper process to assess what that need is right. and to then establish what the best option is. There are 700 families who send their kids to single-sex schools. They may not all decide that they want to send their kids to a co-ed school. They've 25 different secondary schools across the city oh, there's currently. There's 700 who go to Avonside Girls and Shirley Boys. schools across the city. There's not a place like it is in New there Zealand. A degree of white flight to nonsense. this argument? It's nonsense. It's absolute nonsense. Well, and I'll just touch on Aranui at the moment. There are some particular issues at Aranui. Uh, last, or two weeks ago, the stand down numbers were released at Aranui. Nearly 25 to 30 percent of the kids in Aranui were stood down last year. Mm. Now, you tell me that's not a white flight issue, it's a quality of education issue which needs to be resolved. Okay. Final comment? Well, it might have 30 seconds. Might have yeah. High School is um, the Minister of Education has been attempting to get. 
um, the ministry to work with Maitaho High School so it becomes the school of choice for Parklands. Yeah. It's and that, Parklands that, land. That's it's, the, it's a lot wider issue than Parklands. It's, it's, it's a whole northeast of What she was concerned about was yeah. that she was concerned that she wanted to make sure it was a more attractive schooling option for parents from the Queen's Park and surrounding areas in the northeast of Christchurch. But you know, I know that Aaron's shared this with his community and I know that it's um, an important issue, but I haven't come to an end point. I'm not opposed right. to a school. I'm not in favour of the school. I'm in favour of a proper process that enables us to get a good decision okay. for Christchurch we will, schools. I do have to go, but we will, we will revisit this issue, perhaps with you good people, after September 2, when sure. yeah. there should be Love some to. developments. Uh, before we go, first of all, the pick of the week. Um, do not try this at home with your children. Monkey bars. This is a whole new <laughs> definition of monkey bars. This child was okay, by the way, but apparently it was stuck in there for a while in Australia. Uh, last week's question Does the northeast of Christchurch need a new local high school? 59% support for that. The prize winner, H. Blair. This week's question Should it be an offence to be drunk in a public place? Uh, email newsmakers at ctv.co.nz or use the post or the web to cast your vote. Do so and you'll be in to win the big compilation of music from Melody Gado. I love Melody Gado. It's romance on the CD player, it really is. Uh, and also the Whitcalls gift card. Thank you very much to our panel, Leanne Dalzell and Aaron Gilmore. Have a fine weekend. You take care. We'll see you next week. Good night. <laughs>